When I see this many tomatoes, it's time to make salsa. There's the Tiger II again. He takes a hit, and I finish him off. Get out of here. Go back to the garage, watch some tutorials, learn how to play the game. Listen up, folks. This is Dan for Digital Flash Fire. We are back. We're going to be bringing tanks. We're going to be bringing warships. We're going to be bringing guides for other games for today. We are in the Tier 9 British Heavy Tank, the Conqueror. This is an outstanding tank with an excellent turret, an acceptable hull, and probably the best Tier 9 heavy gun you are going to run into. Today we are on Sand River. Now, there's a couple things I'm going to have you keep an eye on in this game. The first is there's a bit of a lemming train going. We've got a lot more guys going south and going north. And that's okay. There's no... You, you do have some kind of a disadvantage when you're pushing a little too heavily on one side, but you can make up for it. And it especially helps when the other team makes positioning mistakes that let you affect other parts of the battlefield. For example, I'm shooting at a tank destroyer that's clear in the middle of the field, even though I am down on the K line. And here we've got a T-29, and he doesn't have any armor that can deflect me with his turret pointing at that angle, so I'm going to take advantage of that and put a couple of shots into it. And you can just see how smooth this gun is. I'm already up over a 1,000 points of damage 90 seconds into the game. And the T-29 is out of the game. And object 416, snap a shot off right through the chin. That tank does not have great armor. That's about the worst place to hit him, and I still went right through. But the only thing you can say about that part of the armor is it's flat, but it's pretty darn thick. Now, this T-54 is just hanging out, emptying his magazine, and I can't quite punish him for it. IS-2 over there. And now we get kind of a traffic jam, and this is what you don't want when you've got a lemming train going. If you look... We have a lot of people here at the bottom of the map, and we don't want that. We want our team pushing aggressively at the bottom of the map rather than sitting back. So I'm going to take the lead. I'm going to, um, I guess, lead the charge. The armor on this tank isn't fantastic, but this is the kind of rolling hilly terrain that the Conqueror is really designed for. So let's take advantage of that. We've got an SU-152. Not the ISU-152. He puts an HE shell into me. The T-54 puts a shot into me. But I finish off the SU-152. And the T-54 is forced to back off. Because if you look behind me, you'll see that's a lot of guns for him to go at. To uh, ignore. And I'm going to push up. Try to get the IS-2 don't really want to give that much flank to the uh, T-54, but he's not in a great position. So I'm going to pull up, put a shot in, and artillery finishes him off. Poor bastard. I'm going to flop over. He just looks away from me. I put a shot into him, and the firing squad behind me finishes him off. So now I'm at almost 3,000 damage. I've got to kill. The team's up 5-2. And the T-30 just commits suicide by firing squad here. Now you notice that we've kind of played Ring Around the rosy. We have completely dominated the West, and the rest of the team kind of went East. Now, at this point, the 1390 decides to just spam the absolute crap out of the map, which I really hate. I don't think that's uh, productive in any sense of the word. And then he's going to spam chat some more. Now we're up 7-4 and we played Ring Around the Rosie. We ignored a flank, they ignored a flank. The difference is we're up three tanks, we're up a lot of damage. And now I'm just taking advantage of the okay mobility. Now, one thing about this map, neither 
cap has any cover whatsoever. So if you're hanging out in the cap, hoping that you're going to be able to cap out and win with, you know, half the team still alive, it's not going to happen. It is never going to happen unless it's, you know, a bunch of T95s that just can't get there in time. Now, we've lost a bit of the score, but we're still way out ahead. I'm just looking for a shot at this point. Can't quite get one there. And here I'm just driving around. A bit of a derp here. Not the greatest moment, but I want to help get rid of that knot of enemy vehicles, you know, tanks and TDs down at the east end of the ramp. It's not really working out for me. And this T-28 prototype is keeping me from, you know, he's where I want to be. <laughs> he's basically exactly where I want to be. But we don't always get what we want. But if you try sometimes, you might find you get what you need. Now here, we're closing in on the cap, but again, there's no cover in the caps. So our guy's going to get reset again and again and again. And the object 704, I go for a shot on him. Nope. T28 says, hey, quit ignoring me. Okay, fine, I'll, I'll quit ignoring you if that's what you want. He puts another shot into me, I get over. Now, one thing I got really lucky on is none of the da damaging hits on me hit my ammo rack. The ammo rack on this thing is huge. And you will spend a lot of games ammo rack. Now, the T-28 prototype has a big disadvantage. His turret doesn't fully traverse. And you can see I just got further than he can traverse. He couldn't, you know, bring his gun to bear on me. And now they have an artillery and a tank destroyer left. And we have a third of our team. So I'm just going to come up. I'm going to put the coup de gras on the 704. Boom. A little bit of auto aim there. And medium knocks out the M12. And that, folks, is the ball game. Now we go to the screenshots, if I can find them, because I am terrible at this. And... Hmm. There we go. So you can see only a second class mastery badge. I shot at a lot of tanks that were lower tier. The uh, 416, the T-28 prototype, the IS-2, the T-29, the SU-152, and the T-25AT are all lower tier. I got Line of the Sinai, which I think is 100... IS type vehicles, so thank you IS2 for showing up and giving me that. Uh, Reaper Metal, the uh, Fire for, or no, Duelist, sorry, Fire for Effect, Bruiser, High Caliber, and Confederate. I did a lot of damage to vehicles I didn't kill. Team scores, uh, 4,753 damage puts me on top of the 1,094 base experience. A couple of Epic Medals to go in there. The whiny AMX 1390 didn't have a terrible game. He probably picked up some spotting damage, too, with uh, 451 damage and 551 base experience. Over on the other team, the Object 704 had a great game. Um, came in just shy of a uh, Top Gun, actually, in a losing effort. The rest of his team just wasted his effort. Um, special mention goes to the T-30 that just yard in and did nothing. Um, I did finally unlock my T-30, so... Eventually, I'm going to get the derp gun for that and just have a ball. Um, made a nice profit. Didn't have to use any premium ammo. It's very rare you have to use premium ammo in this tank. It is just such a wonderful vehicle. 14 shots fired, 13 hits, 13 penetrations. Shooting down tier really helped. Um, the only shot I missed was against the T-49 where there was really no chance. Uh, 469 damage caused uh, assistance damage. Helps a little bit, and of course, 8,205 experience because it's a 5x weekend. 
All right, folks, thank you very much for watching for Digital Flash Fire. This is Dan. Glad to have glad to see you again and hope to see more of you in the future.